It's good to me. So the idea for this week is to build the side wall of the shower cabin. We have four days to do that. Hi, I'm Hobeth. And I'm Duca. And after bringing a sailboat that was neglected for over 22 years back to life, we moved aboard and for the next two years we explored the Brazilian coast and part of the Caribbean, where we got an offer that changed our lives once again. We sold our boat and we moved to France, where we are building our new 43 foot aluminum exploration sailboat. And while the boatyard is building the hull of our new sailboat, we are learning the craft by converting a camper van to get ready to build the interior and all the systems of the boat ourselves. So, don't forget to subscribe and to join us every Sunday for a new episode. This wall is not as simple as it seems because... Every uh, single place has a different angle. Yeah, this is just the frame, so the frame is going to be here, uh, flush with this part this trim and then we can just create the wall and just glue with Sikaflex in place and then we need to create this part now and that part and yeah we'll get there <laughs> just be patient we'll get there so let's go why would you look outside yourself when you have all of the world inside one two three four Yeah, your heart is a sun and it shines as it opens. Yeah, well, your heart is a sun and it shines as it opens. Yeah, your heart is a sun and it shines as it opens. Yeah, well, your heart is a sun and it shines as it opens. Yeah, your bones are the earth and they sing. With the mountains Where well, your bones are the earth And they sing With the mountains Yeah, your bones are the earth And they sing With the mountains Where well, your bones are the earth And they sing With the mountains Why would you look outside yourself When you have all of the world inside Why would you look Outside yourself when you have all of the world is Why would you look outside yourself when you have all of the world inside? Are you ready? Yes. <laughs> so this is not the final assembly, that's just the dry fit because we decide to always have a dry fit in order to not make mis to make less mistakes, not to not make mistakes. So we're gonna disassemble part of this now and we're gonna glue with epoxy resin to make sure it's really sealed because this is a wet area so we want to just soak epoxy on the wood uh, how do I say that? impregnate the wood with epoxy just to guarantee and then tomorrow hopefully we can install in place That's awesome. So now, before we install the framing place, we're gonna put the insulation first, otherwise it's gonna be harder to do it later.
you ready for this? Let's do it! <laughs> but I need to put this side first. Not for too long. Not anymore. <laughs> now you hold in place. The job is done. I guess so. <laughs> What's the idea? We need to do a template for this bottom part and a template for this top part. The center one is going to be the finishing just like this one that we're going to do later. So now we already have the plywood for here. We just need to do the precise cut so we can do the finishing. Same as this one and the same for here. So template it is. After trying many different ways of doing templates, this one I think is the one that we prefer. We get uh, a piece of MDF, like thin MDF. This one is the one that came with the van because when you buy the van, the walls are closed with this material and we've been using this ever since. Mm -hmm. And we glue a smaller piece in the center and then we just get some random pieces and we create like something like this and we glue to the center one and we keep doing it until we have a template. With hot glue, right? With, with hot glue, yes. And now with the template ready, I just need to follow the dots. I create a dot here, a dot here, a dot there. I create a line. This one, this one, another line. This one to that one, another line. And, and just keep going this way. And then we just cut. And hopefully we have the perfect plywood for here. We are going to have a little bit of space on the sides and on the bottom, right? For Cicaflex, yes. Our crab is ready. <laughs> Now let's see if this is right because we pre-cut this plywood knowing that we're gonna use for that purpose and we did like you know rough measurements <laughs> and that's the only cuts we did after the template so that means it might be missing some parts of the wall we hope it's enough because that would be terrible we already pre-epoxy the back side so this is a wet area we want to epoxy everything and we pre-epoxy because we knew like that's gonna be the rough measurement it's gonna be easier we do it right now and we might not be able to use this one that would be hopefully it's not gonna happen you like this glasses yeah it's beautiful <laughs> let's hope this works that's the very date it's a little bit too tight after a tiny trim on this side I think now we have the enough gap for the sika for the joint because I we need to have sika in between and now all we need to do is the top one and then we're gonna epox both sides and tomorrow we're gonna do the finishing and glue in place that's the exactly same thing we don't need to show you Yeah, the, we, this is gonna be too weird if we have one finishing here that's the same as this one, that's the same as this one, but different to this one. It would be like a, I don't know, like a chess board, I think. <laughs> so we decide to have this one the same as this one. So it's gonna be one finishing, one finishing. I think it's gonna be better. That's the last step. I mean, second last step. So this has already two coats of epoxy resin on the faces, on the edges, and now it's sealed. That means we can use this for the shower cabin and there is no risk of water getting into the plywood. So we can finally apply the plastic laminated. But we're gonna do different this time because the last time we did it, it wasn't exactly as we planned. We used contact glue that was a gel glue that we really didn't like. It was hard to work with, the result we get, got some bubbles, so luckily 
one of you guys, one of our subscribers contacted us saying that he has a shop in the Netherlands and has a lot of products that he believed we could use on our project and that if we found something that would help us, just let him know. And we found one glue that I think is the solution because it's a glue that you apply on one side and you can position the laminate after you put in place. You can position and you can put some pressure if you want and supposedly it's really, really strong. So I think we're gonna give it a try. So let's see if this new glue works much better than the other one because I don't wanna do that again. And also he said he sent some gifts for us. Let's see what we have. <laughs> he sent us paper. Thank you, I appreciate the paper. Awesome. <laughs> so that's the glue, it's Spray Tech MS Hybrid Polymer that we can glue any kind of surface and can be for humid area, for hot area, can be up to 90 degrees these later, so it's, it will be fine. Oh, I think you're not gonna run out of... Look at the That's gonna be awesome. Every single size. <laughs> oh, I really appreciate that. Oh, new scale. Our has oh. resin all over the place. That's good, thank you. More cups. Every time we run out of a container to mix epoxy resin, it's when the store is closed or when we cannot yeah. find to buy and having a stock is really, really good. Some other epoxies. When you apply paint on something, you need to have a fresh, clean one, otherwise you contaminate the paint. So no, it's always good to have some extra. Piece of plywood. <laughs> yeah, we always use just like spare piece of plywood that always leaves something. Stop, stop. We're gonna do it different. Uh, contact glue, it dries in like 15 minutes and you glue and you can use it straight away. This takes 12 to 24 hours to be 95% dry and then seven days to be fully dry. So if we do it today, tomorrow we can install in place because otherwise there's no video this week. Mm -hmm. So the first step is to cut this roughly to the size. here first otherwise it might I don't know something <laughs> that's the nozzle it's closed they say close and then you can shake and they say try in a test surface first Care, but I'm ready. <laughs> Fingers crossed. It says go quick and try to do an even layer. This layer is not that. The tip here. Hmm? The tip. Now we need to wait one minute. Yeah, just give it one second. It's like painting. <laughs> yeah, it's hard when you never use it before, but I, I'm trying to get as, uh, even as possible, they say you can apply really quick many times or you can do one is low and try to get as similar as possible. I see that I have a little bit too much there, but you're gonna spread that with the roller. We have one minute to go. This is how it looks. Yeah, it's, it's really tricky when you never use a kind of spray before because it sprays really different to be honest. It's just, I don't know, it does, it's not liquid. like a painting spray. And it's yeah, not like a glue spray as well. Yeah, we have like four dots here that you see. And also here. Yeah, it will, it will work. And here there's a little bit too much, but it will be fine. So now, let's see. So supposedly now we can reposition if we need. So 
we are trying to get this end flush and this end flush and then we don't need to trim this just the less it's actually feels really good actually it's already gluing yeah you can see you can tell that holds already yeah but it still can move and that's great masking tape to hold and guarantee that we're not gonna move from here Supposedly we don't even need to do that, it's just as a guarantee. So the idea is that we are gonna put a piece of MDF on the top just to put some weight and guarantee that we have no bubbles. According to the data sheet we don't need that, but it's just as a guarantee we're gonna do it. So I'm just taping this in place to make sure that when I compress I don't lose the position because otherwise it would be a big problem. I hope it stays in place. Finger good now. Let's wait until tomorrow and see the result. Fingers crossed. 12 hours later, let's see if it works. My only concern is that the glue was not dry yet and the weight on the top is light, the finishing, like the laminated. And that would be a mess, but I hope it didn't happen. I don't know if you can notice, but things are in different order. And the truth is, off camera yesterday, half an hour after I put everything together, I'm like, I'm not sure if it's aligned. So I took everything off, double check, put it back. It was aligned and I organized differently, but let's see what happens. Let's hope now this didn't glue to the laminate. No. no? Not this side, <laughs> this. First good news. No, you need to see on the light. Yeah. I literally don't see not one bubble. That's so much better the result. That's really, really good. The contact cement is really hard to spread in an even layer. I mean, you could use contact cement with spray gun, but then we need a special spray gun. We don't have the spray gun or we need to buy a second one. and would be easier, I believe, but this way, it looks just awesome. Truly, I don't see not even one bubble. Of course, the gray one is harder to see the bubbles, but you can tell if there, is, there are bubbles. There's none at all. Let's do the finishing and glue so now, it in place. Yeah, we just need to trim these two sides and we can find the finishing project. Secrets project. Ready for this? <laughs> Not sure. Yeah, the problem about this procedure now is that Sika Flex, in order to have a good finishing, we need to finish within 10 minutes. After 10 minutes, it starts to get tacky, and when it's tacky, you cannot slide your finger with water because if you have water, we forgot to get the water, by the way. So if you have water, we can create a really smooth finishing, but if it's like over 10 minutes it starts getting tacky and then the finishing doesn't look as good as it is. But as this is just glue, there's no screw involved, I want to put a, two clamps here and with the two clamps I can clean, and, but I cannot clean before because otherwise when I squeeze the clamps it's gonna have more squeeze of Sikaflex, I cannot take the tape. So we need to manage to spread Sika 522 on everything, put the pen in place, put the clamps in place, take the tape clean and take the tape out in 10 minutes. That's the goal. Mm -hmm. 15 minutes will be okay. More than that, I don't really like. Let's do this. Uh, water, we need to yeah. get water. So the idea now is to double the amount of insulation we are gonna have on the back of the shower cabin. 
So we are gonna add another layer of insulation. The reason for that is because this is a wet area and then we can have condensation behind and the more insulation we have, the less chances of condensation and we are trying to avoid as much as possible. And also if we have enough insulation by the end of the build, we are gonna install double layer everywhere because it's a really thick wall and we don't want to, hit, to leave such a big gap of air on the back. We'll see. Let's do this. I've been doing this for years and years and years and I'm always I always feel like I'm not ready. I knew you'd fit me like a glove The day I fell in love with the pictures in my head I know it sounds crazy, maybe one day I could share them with you ooh, ooh, ooh. And I really don't mind waiting as long as it takes you I've been waiting for so long, so what's another week or two? Cause every time I see you, life goes bright ooh, ooh. The moon, the stars, the fireflies, daylight ooh, ooh. It seems as if the world stopped spinning round and round Oh, since I found, I found you I really like the result. I have one tiny little piece right on edge, the last last piece. I have no idea how I'm gonna take that off. Maybe play. I did it. <laughs> it's like, gotcha. <laughs> did it. You. One more dirt job done. It might seem like, oh, the camera. It might seem like this is finishing is terrible. The reason for that's because we told already this is gonna be a completely different finishing, and the finishing is gonna go over the edge. That's why we don't care about this finishing here. Is because it's gonna be hidden behind the front finishing the idea is to seal and so it's sealed and yeah. in the future we can yeah the only the only finishing we worry about is this side and the bottle because yeah. this is the final and this side is just we never done so yeah, pretty we've done in the boat many times but not as perfect we are practicing for building the boat so it's a good practice actually. yeah i think the finish the, yeah. this edge is just perfect Unfortunately, you guys won't be able to see without these clamps yeah. and these out of place because we need to leave this to dry and if we don't go at it right now, we have just a few hours for you to watch so you won't have a video. So I guess we need to call up the wig here. Yeah. Successful. We didn't do the toilet that we wanted to do and the reason for that is a good one. This week I spent, I would say, 70% of the time of my time on the boat yard filming the boat. The boat is moving. The boat's moving! <laughs> yeah, the boat's actually moving really quick now and really soon we're gonna have one, maybe three episodes about the boat. For now, I'm going every day to the boat yard to... Oh, I have another camera here. <laughs> yeah, so pretty much this week that's all we could do because I was just busy on the boat yard and learning a lot and seeing them bending some really thick aluminum plates and that's really, really cool. And we can't wait to share that with you not next week, probably the week after.
See you next week. See you. <laughs>